Hey guys, Retro Trek Ralph here with another issue of the Star Trek The Next Generation build the USS Enterprise NCC 1701D by Eagle Moss and Hero Collector. Now it's parts bag 6. So on my first delivery this is the last one that came with it. So we need to get on with this. I don't think there's much to this to be honest. So this is going to be another quick video. So. Let's get inside. Another one of these cards as well. I don't know whether to collect them or not, or whatever. Looks like this is a part of the superstructure to the saucer. So we'll have a look. We'll get the part out. Oh, okay. Okay, it's already fell out of the plastic. Let's get this card out. Number six, showing you that you should be over 14 to fly this around the room. Hmm. Done and done. And it's really done. So let's take these all part out. Oh, I thought when I looked at this, I thought this was plastic. No, I know they said that this is a die cast model, which is going to weigh a lot. But that ain't, that is metal. That is a hard, tough metal. Okay, cookie. <laughs> I don't know why it's got so much metal on this. I will never know. But I will put this on the scales when it's all done. Or at least I'll try and remember to put it on the scales when it's all done. Because I don't know how many episodes this is going to be. The minute this is number six. So we have five BM screws, which I assume will be done pretty quickly. So this is all it is. There's going to be loads of sections. It's the same section we've had before on... Uh, it was just number four. This section down here where you've got the center over and then down and in so it's what we've had before is that panel that panel that panel and this panel here so one two three four on that on the assembly four so we've got this part which goes and there's a curve to it as well slight curve so it's not that way around it will be going that way with panels attaching to it so Take the upper skeleton four, which is all six, well there's only one anyway, it doesn't matter. And skeletal support U4A, which there's two, which one's thick and one's thin. And I assume this is the thick one, which does actually seem shorter, but not by much. Insert the two screws, posts from skeleton support. What? This will go, where's it go? Right, that way around. Okay, so the two skeleton ports there go in there and there. Okay, insert the two screw posts, yes, from skeleton support U, U4A into the skeleton because it's, it's the curved bit here, there. So, what I need to do is balance this. No, I don't put that in there. That in there. Get another screw while it's holding it in place. See the superstructure of this. It'd be nice to. I just thought it, there are the episodes of Next Generation which shows the ship in its construction phase, or at least I'd probably say it's the not Yamato, the Galaxy, because it's a Galaxy class. The first one of the fleet is always called. It's, it's class. So the Galaxy class ship, the first ship was called USS Galaxy. We never saw it. We saw the Odyssey. We saw Yamato. There must have been other ones anyway. But the Galaxy was the one in the background being worked on. So it would be nice to actually see that or do a model like this in a pre built form. So you've still got a superstructure, which is exactly like this is. I wonder if there's a way of doing this, but without screwing down all of the panels, just to try and get some sort of attempt to get a skeleton. 
It'd be nice to nice to think you could do that. So I'll turn that in in a little. Come on, there you go. Just feel a little bit of force back. Otherwise, you'll strip the threads on the screw or strip the threads in the hole. There you go. And that is quite solid. To skeleton support and slot the two screws. Secure it from below with two BM screws, which is that. So the higher one, the, the one, two, third section up, fourth section up, the little bit wider, because the next one's probably going to be a little bit thinner as well, coming outwards, because your slope of the dish is going to go inwards. If there's a sport down here, which it should be, that'll be even higher than this one, because this dish comes thicker around the middle. I mean, if that's only that bit there, then there'll be a, a support around the min section down here as well. So, okay. So, f for a stage six, that's it. I've got one screw left over, which is a, a BM. And that's it. I kind of feel like I've cheated you there a little bit, because that's all that, that s section six is. I mean, I could carry on waffling on and tell you about what I did the other day, even though at the moment we're in lockdown and I didn't do much through the day. And yeah, okay, very quick. So that's number six. I kind of thought of adding this one to uh, number five, but I do think it's probably best doing the bags separate. I don't know when I'm going to release these or what, whatever for the schedule and stuff. At present, I'm recording a few and then getting them, get them out and released to you guys so you can watch these and maybe take take the plunge yourself if you want to, to do this, if you want to make this. It may be a case of you can see the quality in this at the moment or whether or not you can see that there's going to be problems. I see there's going to be problems when you put all the panels together on the saucer. Can't see the problems on the rest of it. They look like they're quite good where the panels are that like joined in, but we'll see what happens, shall we? I've got a little bit of faith that it's an expensive model kit but it's hopefully going to be fun. At the minute, I've got lots of parts which are doing not much. I mean, I do love that um, nacelle when it came out. It looked very good. The size of it is really, really good. But anyway, I'll, I'll stop waffling now. I'll um, bring the board out. So with that, thanks for watching Stage 6 Assembly. Um, please like and subscribe, follow me on social media if you if you want to. Um, I've got plenty of videos out there, different stuff, not just Star Trek stuff. Some of the teardown videos for um, gadgets and gizmos and repair videos, day trips, all sorts of stuff out there. I'm on social, mainly on Twitter. I'm on Discord as well if you're interested. And yeah, just pop along, say hello, don't need to do anything. If you want to donate to the channel, I've got Patreon links below. I've got, if you want to donate something, if you've got something that you just don't want, anything, whether it's model kits that you don't want, whether or not it's any technology stuff that you don't want, if it's something that's broken with pieces of models, I'll take them. Just, just, just get in touch and I'll, I'll, I'll do something with them. I'm sure you can do some, some kit bashing stuff. So, yeah, there's plenty of ways to help out the channel, no matter what you want. If not, carry on watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.